So today we are starting day one of the kitchen organization project, or I guess you would say projects. We're going to take this and we're going to break it up into little tiny sections so it's not overwhelming. Like right now when I think about it, it's like I don't even want to do it because it's going to be so much and I don't even know where I'm starting. So if you didn't watch last Wednesday's vlog, I did show you the pantry and what it looks like. We took the door off the pantry, which caused me to be able to see what was behind the door. Not a good thing. So I will link that video on a card above if you've not seen it. So today is going to be day one. We're just going to evaluate the pantry and possibly start organizing that bottom shelf. At least pulling everything out, looking at what we have, and trying to see if that's really the spot that I want to keep it in. Now, I had all intentions of going out last weekend and buying um, organizers. Dollar Tree is coming out with these very adorable one dollar organizers well my dollar tree and the dollar tree in a town over didn't have them which was probably a good thing because i need to evaluate the space first look and see what i have you guys know those storage containers can add up if you watch my attic video from i think two years ago if you've not seen that i'll put it in a card above it was an embarrassing amount of organizers that i was not using so all of the money that i wasted there was i don't even want to think about it so we're going to evaluate the space and then we're gonna go from there. So we're gonna step into the pantry, take a look at the disaster that it is, and possibly start organizing and cleaning out just a little bit. <clears throat> okay, I think I'm gonna have to step to the side. Okay, I'm going to step to the side here. So I'm in the laundry room. I don't know why, I can't really share this with y'all, but now that we've lived here for six years, I wonder certain things. Like, why was this wall put here? For me, and I've been saying this for the past couple of months, for me, it would be so much better if this was one gigantic room without this wall. But I guess if we did that, then we wouldn't have the shelves in there. Or you know what? We'd probably have to rethink the shelves, but we could because it would just need that pole like it has over there. Because look, here's the pantry. And then here's the laundry space. So if we didn't have these walls over here, can you imagine how much space that we would have? We would just be able to open up this entire area and utilize it so much better. But, you know, we're not busting down walls or anything right now, so I might as well just kind of ignore what I just said. So that's my thought process, though. It would work so much better if this wall was not here. Just my thoughts for today. So we took the door off last weekend because it was doing nothing but getting in the way and it was staying halfway open and you have to push it back and then it would pop back open and it was just a waste of energy and it just took up way too much space. I don't really know why the door was there to begin with now that I'm thinking of it. So, which did cause an issue. So all of this stuff over here on this left hand side was behind the door. So I didn't even have to look at it. Well, now I do. So if you can see, I'm trying not to step in the cat litter box. So we're starting to think that the seasonal decorations over here on this left hand side is not probably the best. It's not the best thing, to be honest. I don't know at the moment where we will put them, but now that this door is off, I mean, it's right here. So this is valuable space now. Before the door, when the door was there, it wasn't valuable space because who's gonna go behind the door to get anything out to use? So we need to use this for kitchen stuff. We need to use it for kitchen stuff. So that's probably all going to come out. And see, this is why I said I was gonna get in here. We were gonna look at this space together. And honestly, I have not looked at this space until right now. I wanted to do this with y'all and I want it to be a process that we work through together because I know you guys are like me. Where, I mean, because right now when I'm looking at this pantry, it's overwhelming. Like, what do I do? Where do I start? What looks to be the most beneficial thing to do? And at this point, you might want to give up. If you were to walk in this pantry and go, I don't even know what to do. What do I do? Where do I start? This is overwhelming. And especially if you think about having to do the kitchen as well. So this is what I'm saying where we're going to take it step by step. So my intention when I came in here was to do this bottom area. 
So we're going to go through this bottom area, but now that I'm thinking about it, that's not what I'm going to do. I do want to go through the bottom area, but I only want to go through the bottom area because possibly that stuff could move over. I'm not sure. So as my brain is thinking right now, I'm thinking that we're going to, for today's video, take all of the seasonal decorations out, move those to the office. Yes, it's going to cause a little bit of an issue in the office for right now, but at least I've got those things pulled out. Now, the best thing to do in any type of project like this is to take everything out and to give yourself a blank canvas, but I really just don't have the time for that today. And I don't, it's not a project that's going to take one session. And I don't want my kitchen to be a mess over the next two months. So we are going to do this piece by piece without taking everything out. So today's goal is to take all of these seasonal decorations out of this closet and we're going to look down here. So I want to look at this bottom shelf and we're probably going to pull all of this out. So step number one is to take all of the seasonal decorations out. That may lead to like right now when I'm thinking, I'm like, you know what would be great? The kids can't even reach these up here. Why are the cups up here? So those cups need to be brought down to like over here so the kids can get into them and use them. They can't even see what's in them right there. So that's what I'm thinking right now. So we're going to pull the seasonal decorations out, see where that leads us, and I do want to go through down here. So we're going to go through down here second. So before I go through what's down there, I'm going to pull all of the seasonal decorations out and put those in the office. So with all of the seasonal decorations pulled out, this is what that side looks like. So this all right here we're going to look at. So we're going to look at all of this and then this bottom shelf. So I didn't have any seasonal decorations on this side. It's all food and junk, as I see, that needs to be reorganized. So the best thing is going to be, since my kids can reach pretty well the first two shelves, that kind of needs to be their area. This left side and the right side. So we're going to take a look at this bottom shelf first. And these are the Sterilite Ultra Deep Baskets. I may have to end up getting another set of these. I'm not sure. I did check. Walmart has a set of six for $37.99. I will link them in the description. They are my second favorite baskets behind the Why Weave Room Essentials Baskets from Target. So, y'all, I did have all good intentions a few years ago when I put these labels on the front. But I haven't been using that. that see, that was like organization overkill for me the labeling so we're going to start here and work our way around so these i need to pull them out and look at them y'all look at all this like who's i don't even whose is that so i don't know why this is in here this was all of the storage bottoms this is all the storage lids so plastic storage lids so but this needs to be addressed and this needs to be pulled out this is derek's mess these are the skillet lids. So, you know, I mean, technically, if we're pulling out all of this and moving all of that, then this needs to be moved, too. So, we'll see. So, that, this, y'all, I'm embarrassed to even pull this out because this has been on my to-do list for a while. But I just have not sat down and tried to figure out a way to organize this. But this is embarrassing, and this is not what I want this to look like. This is, look, the Reynolds wrap. This is parchment paper that won't even come out. Look, Ziploc bags that won't fit. I don't even know what is in here. That's how bad this is. So this is something we have to address. I mean, I need a really good system. So I need to look up some stuff for this. I don't know if maybe keeping this in a drawer is the best bet. My drawers aren't really deep. That's the only problem. I don't have like one big deep drawer, so that's why they're in here, but but that's not working. So, and look, see the two large things? We've got random scissors in here that don't need to be in here. So there's some small cast iron back there. All of our pots, pans, cast iron here. And let me address these. These are the totes that we use when taking stuff to and from. 
I really need to, that does not need to be taking up a shelf. That's taking up an entire shelf. So that really needs to be something that goes down here, like on a shelf out of the way or in a tub. If I had a clear tub, that would be perfect. Put all of that stuff in there, put the lid on it down there in the bottom. I need to put that on my list. I need to see if I have one in the attic first. I'm thinking I might have one, but I don't know if I'm using it somewhere else. So down here napkins like the kids can't even get to these napkins so this needs to be moved over here so see all of this is going to be moved around so here these go with our little dishes in the i'll share them with you you probably saw them in a target vlog okay these right here these little baskets these were from Target last year, and I just think they're so cute. We've used them a few times. So the little wax papers go on these. So these technically don't even need to be in here either. Those probably need to be with that other thing in there. So see what I'm saying? I've got so many different things that can be pulled and moved around, and yeah, just all that. And then here, and I can see like right now, we've got several of these lunch boxes we need to get rid of. Like this needs to go. This needs to go. Uh, yes, see, we need to go through this and get through some, get rid of some stuff in here. But see, the old lunch boxes and these totes could go in one thing on the floor and not take up valuable space right here on a shelf. Y'all, we love this thing, this waffle maker. We use it all the time. It is one of my favorite things. And you saw it last week on my still favorite things. So. There it is. It needs to be moved. That's not a good spot for it. And then over here is my reusable storage bags. And here's the thing. You can't even get to them when you need them. Well, now you can because the door is gone. But before that, you couldn't. So I need to look at those. So probably what I'm going to do right now is just kind of pause what I'm doing right here. And go and look and see if I have the bin for that. Move some stuff around. Oh, and you're probably wondering about the that up there and you know that probably needs to be up there see i'm going through this and thinking as i go and let me be honest i'm gonna talk about this alcohol over here you guys um i don't even know where this alcohol came from i'm not a drinker I, I didn't even know it was up there until just now and my KitchenAid mixer let's address that that is up there because i don't use it every day so i don't want to have it out on my counter collecting dust so we decided last year to move it in here best decision ever but that's not the best spot for it so that needs to be addressed so what i'm going to do right now is i'm just going to pause and i'm going to look to see what i've got move a few things around and we're going to call it done for video number one this was just a chat video get some things out in the open get a small game plan together and i've got popcorn buckets down there see that needs to be where the kids can get to it too look paper towels need to be somewhere so yes i need to pause this kind of get a start to a few things and then we'll call this video done so it has been about an hour since I left you guys and I will tell you that I did not film that whole process because I would do a little bit then I would go and do something else and I would come back and work a little bit do something else and that's why it took an hour and it wouldn't have taken me an hour if I would have done strictly the pantry but I realized why I do that and it's because I feel like I need to give my brain a break so I can think better does that make sense kind of like a clean you know mindset if I work on it a little bit walk away and come back i feel like i've got better ideas does that make sense it makes sense to me so i'm in the office right now because i want to share with you what i've got going on in the floor and what will sit there until our next video over the pantry and then we're going to step into the pantry and take a look at what i've got done so far so this is what we have going on in here and this is going to stay in here until i come back for the second video the only thing that might change is this right here so all of this is sitting here because I'm going to get a clear tub. I didn't have one in the attic. I went and looked before. I moved it all in here. And I need to get a bigger, I want it to be clear so I can see through it. 
a big clear tub to put all of the totes and things and lunch boxes and put that in the bottom of the pantry. And then everything else, and y'all, we might wait and do everything else until we move to this office closet that is a complete wreck once again. So it just, it's life, life happens. Sometimes things are messy and my closet is now messy. So now let's go check out the pantry. So I'm stepping back into the laundry room to share it with you just so you can see it overall. And it is, it looks a little bit disheveled. I guess you would say a little bit of it's organized. Some of it's cleared out. Some of it looks like a hot mess. And I'm doing a little bit at a time. So it's going to stay this way until we come back and do the next video in about a week or so. So now let me share with you what I have done. So I moved the chips that were sitting right there. I moved that over here. So let me step into the pantry. Okay. So the chips are up there. And y'all, that is a laundry basket that I think I got from Dollar Tree for a dollar. It makes a great chip basket. You can see everything in it. And it's one dollar. So then I put our popcorn stuff over there and any type of chips will go right here. Now everything else to the right, we have not addressed any of that yet. So second shelf here, I found this in the attic and thought that was perfect. This was in the Target dollar spot a few years ago. Perfect to put our single things of popcorn. Here is goldfish. So these are just snack bins. Y'all, these came from Dollar Tree. One dollar. I love Dollar Tree, especially when I'm going to get stuff like this. And more, this is candy, more candy and snacks. So, easy to get to for the kids. And then right here is empty. Down here, we're nothing right now. So, what I did was I just put these together here. I would like to put all of this I have not looked at this. I started to look at this and I was like, I don't have any ideas for that right now. So we're just gonna leave that here. And I've got all three of these cleaned out, ready to go. So that feels good. So these things over here, all of the Ziploc bags and all of that, I would like to find a solution to put right here. That's my, I've got to, I've got to sleep on it a few times to see exactly what I want to do. So I've got that whole shelf empty and that was the shelf that all of those totes were on. So that's going to be a whole lot more beneficial than those totes just hanging out right there. And then down here, we've got all of our paper towels, our water, and I'll tell you that Kate came in here to see how much I have gotten done, and she was like, ooh, I love that you put the water on the shelf. So it just looks a lot more organized than the big bag sitting in the floor. So waters, napkins. So we had this in the attic. So this is why you need to shop your home. Before going out and buying something, shop your home. So I've been in the attic twice already and we had this in the very back of the attic. So I cleaned it out and put our napkins in there. So this is probably going to be a great spot to put paper plates too. So paper plates and napkins and all of that. Then right here are all of the reusable bags that I have been needing and have, I don't know, wanted to go behind the door to get them when they were over here. So we've got all of those there. That's all empty down here. I did vacuum and you guys, it's outside now, but I realized while my vacuum has not been working, it had a hole in it. So, needless to say, we're going to have to get us a new vacuum. So, that is our new ice cream maker that we're going to take on vacation and use for family get-togethers. It is, what brand is it? Elite Gourmet. I think I got it from Macy's. I will link it if I can find it. So, I did look at all the reviews and all of that. So, that's how that looks. That's what that side looks like right now. I feel really good about it. And then over here, not really anything going on on this side. So as you can see, I have pulled those and moved those to the other side. Now this is my basket here. I have my own basket because I have to eat gluten free. So everything in here is for me. And I've got a few things over there. So all of this will be organized, but I cleaned all of this out. So when I moved stuff around, I did take everything out of the tub and I did clean it, disinfect it and all that before putting everything back in. So these are my almonds and my breakfast bars and I've got some chocolate chips, pecans, raisins, or craisins, not raisins. So this side still needs to be addressed. So I feel like we've got a good start to this project and I am excited about it. So I hope you are too and I hope you're going to clean out your kitchen and your pantry too while I'm cleaning out mine. 
So we are going to end day one of the kitchen and pantry organization right here. So as you see, this is going to be a long process. I don't want to rush it because normally I go in here in one day and reorganize the pantry and then it falls apart and I don't want to do that this time. I want to really take the time and go through every single area and make it easier and more manageable. So are you going to be cleaning out your pantry and kitchen with us? Let us know in the comments below. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you give it a big thumbs up. By giving my videos a thumbs up, it shows YouTube you're engaged and you like my content which means they'll start suggesting it and recommending it to more people, which means our community will grow and will continue to spread positivity. Also, I hope you hit that red subscribe button to become a part of our community and our mission to get organized on a budget and with a plan together. I hope you guys have a fantastic week and until next time, bye you guys.